Ghost, what's up? How are you? Today I'm going to be comparing and contrasting HelloFresh versus Chef's Plate. I've almost been using the food delivery service for a year. It'll be a year in April, I believe. I kind of wanted a system, I guess, to not always be out and about. It started because of the pandemic. In the beginning, I was really, really nervous to go out and shop, to actually to go anywhere, really. And now that it's been over a year with this looming thing in our lives, I've kind of gotten used to it, but I really, really liked the service, so I kept going with it. And before I was only using Chef's Plate, and that's the video that you guys saw last year, Chef's Plate actually reached out to me and thanked me with a free week of food for that video. So that was really cool. But yes, I'm doing another video again. Not sponsored, I tried to get them to partner with me, but I didn't hear back. So we're continuing on anyway, because I still have opinions. Now, I haven't been using HelloFresh as long as Chef's Plate, and there's a few reasons for why I didn't choose HelloFresh in the first place to get going with it, but I still do use both, and you're probably thinking, that's super expensive. How do you spend that much money on food? They have an option to skip weeks so I don't get food from them every single week. I try and pick and choose based on how my life is going, how my grocery supply is in the house, that kind of thing. So yes, they both have apps. They're both super convenient to use. Okay, so this is the current week. And as you can see, I've skipped. You can just go to your next couple weeks that are upcoming, I think. How many weeks ahead do they let you choose? One, two, three, four, five, six. So a lot of the times you get to know what the menu options are six weeks in advance, which is pretty cool. I knew I wasn't gonna be home April 20th. I have an appointment, so I'm not gonna be home pretty much all day and I don't want the box to sit out, but what you could do, also have options to say, let's do this week. You can edit, you can change your delivery day. So it would come on a different day rather than your normal, say like my normal day is Tuesdays. So then you can change your size of box. You can skip this week or you can change the delivery day. I've already picked my meals for this week, so I'm not gonna bother with that. So say if I wanted to pick my food for this week, what I would do, a lot of times I just minus off what it's got going there. Now it shows you kind of the breakdown of what my plan is that I've chose. I have the Pronto box with HelloFresh. Three meals, two people, the shipping is in there. It's not included in the price, which is kind of silly, but I'll get to that, I guess, in a little bit. What I do like about HelloFresh is they will send me in my email, little promo codes to get percentages off of my meals, which is super cool. Chef's Plate doesn't do that, although Chef's Plate is cheaper. So that's how I kind of justify getting the HelloFresh because they'll send me these little discount codes and it will be kind of the same price as the HelloFresh boxes. So that is initially why I went with Chef's Plate because it was Meals that I recognized, like everyday food that my husband and I would eat, and it was pretty cheap. I think it's only like $59.94 or something versus HelloFresh is 78-ish around there if you add up the 68 plus the shipping cost there. That's originally the reason why, because I wanted to be able to budget but also have food delivered to the house that I knew me and my hubby would eat. So if you look at the HelloFresh menu, a lot of it is super fancier, is also a reason I didn't go with HelloFresh at first, but it's normally ingredients that I wouldn't pick up. But since doing HelloFresh, I've noticed that my taste has expanded and I like all these different ingredients because it ultimately gives you super flavorful recipes and I super appreciate that. I wouldn't normally pick up sage or like rosemary, stuff like that. Chef's Plate does a lot of cilantro, and if I get that in my meals, I don't usually use it because <laughs> it's not my favorite, but that's the thing also is like, you can pick and choose what ingredients, you can add stuff that you already have in your kitchen to the recipe to make it your own. And it's super duper easy because they send you instructions in the box so that you know exactly 
what you're making, how it's going to turn out. It's just so easy. Okay, let's jump over to chef's plate here. So kind of the same layout. I've skipped all my deliveries recently. Oh, here's a week that they would have meals, so let's go through there. They've pre-selected some for me. Let's go ahead and select some. So as you can see, their price breakdown, $59.94 shipping is included. So that's kind of cool. So with the shipping, because HelloFresh charges for their shipping, you actually do get notifications when your box is being sent out and a delivery notification when it arrives at your house. So that's kind of cool. Last time I got a box from them, I didn't have that notification. <laughs> so that was a little bit amiss that week. Whoops. So say if you're trying to look at the meals, you can also click on them. Um, it tells you the calories, the breakdown of all your macronutrients what ingredients they're sending, and what is included all in the allergies portion. If I was allergic to wheat, milk, and or had sulfite sensitivities, I wouldn't go with this one. I've kind of thought that I'm getting lactose intolerant, but, and I've switched out my milk for my cereals in the morning and it seems to be helping. So I'm not going back to milk but say I wouldn't not get that meal because it had milk in it. So as you can see, some of the servings also, if they're more premium, they have an extra cost based on the ingredients that they're giving you. I like that they now have this balanced uh, recipe. So our balanced options help you eat better. Each serving has at least 30 grams of protein, less than 10 grams of saturated fat, and less than 75 grams of carbs. 15 minute meals made super quickly. That one looks like it's just a salad. There's a lot of veggie options. I think, say if you were to look at the plans, you can just pick the veggie meal plan or you can pick um, certain dietary restrictions and they will point you in the right direction that way of what plan fits you best. So my delivery day for Chef's Plate is also Tuesday. I like keeping it pretty consistent. And what I found was also cool. They extended their cutoff date for when you could order. So they both sent an email about this. So your new cutoff day will be four days before your scheduled delivery. So say mine's Tuesday. So I get to choose now. I can edit my orders up until 11.59 p.m. PST, I'm Mountain Standard Time, Friday would be my cutoff day. So that's pretty cool. So Chef's Plate did that. And also HelloFresh sent out an email as well. So they literally told me Friday is my cutoff day because they know that I get Tuesday deliveries. Yes, so I've kind of gone over the delivery process, the price difference, the fact that shipping comes with a few more options for people with the notifications. I know a lot of times people don't like paying for shipping, me included, <laughs> but because they send me those little promo codes that I just literally click on in my email and it gets applied right in the app, it's so easy. It's so, I just find it super helpful. And the quality of meals, like it just helps so much. My cooking skills, have been elevated so much in the past year. I've always, always, always wanted to have cooking lessons, but it was so cool that the cooking lessons just came to me at my house with this delivery service. So I super appreciate that. It's totally changed the game for me. <laughs> it's, it's changed my life. It has changed my life though. Uh, it helps so much. I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Can't say enough good stuff about it. And yeah, the quality of meals I've had has just been like incredible, some of the meals. <laughs> A sloppy joe, you wouldn't think that that would taste any different or be any better than any regular sloppy joe you've had. But I think, I can't remember which one it was, but Chef's Plate or HelloFresh, I had the best sloppy joe I had ever eaten in my life out of one of those boxes. There's only been, I think, two meals that I did not enjoy and would not do again. <laughs> and I can show you how many meals I've had out of these services. Hold on. So this 
is what a year's worth of <laughs> meal delivery services looks like. It would probably be thicker if I did order every week. And I think there's actually a duplicate card in here somewhere because I did order the same meal twice because I thought it was really yummy. So yes, they do have the same meals, not every week repeating, but if you use the service for long enough, you're gonna recognize some of the recipes. But yeah, I could make all of this myself again because it tells you the ingredients, it tells you how to make it. Super nice and easy. I regularly dig these out again to be like, <laughs> how long do I cook that? What ingredient was that? Can I make this again? Let's go to the grocery store. As a foodie, it's one of the best things for me just because food brings me so much happiness. I like cooking, I like discovering new things, I like trying new things. <laughs> when we can travel again, I wanna go back to New York so I can just eat. The whole trip is gonna be about going to the best places to eat. Oh. Yeah, there's so many things I want to do involving just like food journeys. <laughs> Is that a movie? I don't know, I have to put it on the screen. I think that was a movie where she just traveled by herself and ate. I'm gonna have one of those experiences. <laughs> or at least I should. Higher price of HelloFresh, but you get sometimes more ingredients and you get the shipping notifications. Chef's plate, you have your basic, but also sometimes elevated ingredients. Super manageable for someone to incorporate into their life if you need extra help with grocery shopping or pandemic times, you're not really wanting to go shop. You're wanting to stay home as much as possible if you can. The quality of my cooking skills and the fact that it has taught me to cook more and like way more recipes are now in my repertoire for regular rotations of food making in my own household. Super appreciate the service for that. The fact that they appreciate their customers and have really good customer service. Like the one time my box didn't show up on my usual delivery date. I sent them a quick message over the live chat and they actually gave me $20 towards my next box because there was a delay or the shipping wasn't on the right day. So they just gave me a credit. So that was super nice. So yeah, the customer service is really good too. The apps are super convenient. I just don't see any cons anymore. <laughs> I think my last video, I had a little grievance with the billing system, but they've got it down now. It's super easy. You know what day your cutoff is, so you're not gonna get meals that you don't want unless you're really not paying attention, but if you're on the schedule, you're looking at your own calendar, you kind of know when you're gonna be home, when you've got to go to the grocery store. If you've got your life figured out, you can manage skipping your weeks and or planning your weeks out with the meal prepping system that they have on the app. I think that is it. I've probably been putting all my food videos and or pictures around the screen this whole time you've been watching. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. And if you enjoyed my little spiel on HelloFresh versus Chef's Plate, I love them both. <laughs> I use them both. I'm super grateful to the service because they taught me how to cook and it's changed my life. <laughs> Being a foodie, I just love food. <laughs> I can't like stress it enough. If you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, if you're a foodie as well, give it a big thumbs up down below. I would super appreciate it. If you are not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button now. Come join the Positive Peep fam. 90% of you that watch me are still not subscribed, so let's change that today. And remember my peeps, be kind to each other in real life and on the internet and spread positivity everywhere that you go. And with that, we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.